feel like that their full-time job is to fill my car with trash. Every day they're like, oh, mom just gave us a bag of Cheerios, better unlock it and dump. Mom just gave us a cheeseburger because she feeds us fast food all the time, better take a bite and shove it in the side of the seat. We just came home from the park. My shoes are filled with sand. Lift them up, make it rain. For those of you who don't know a lot about me, I'm originally from Oklahoma. Yes, it's why I look exactly like someone who is from Oklahoma. It doesn't go away. I was really amazed when I moved to Boston from Oklahoma because I found out that people could have different colors of skin. I went to uh, Berkeley College of Music though, which is where I met my husband, Daniel. I was shocked that I met him there because there's only two types of guys that go to Berkeley and they either smell like Guitar Center or they're super gay. And uh, Daniel wasn't either one of those things though, but he was a Mexican. I remember calling my mom that day and being like, hey mom, um, I met this amazing guy and he's from Mexico City. She was easy, a Mexican? Whoa! Whoa! And I said, well, he is from Mexico. Well, is his parents Mexican too, Cammie? Is it a big family? It's like 5,000 people Mexicans in his family? There's like five of them. She's shorter than you. Is he gonna be like a baby boy, like a little Mexican baby? You're not gonna have to get married. You're just gonna have that toddler boy. You're gonna put a bottle in his mouth and take him as a lap baby on an airplane the rest of your life. You don't even need to get married. You already got a baby. If you guys don't know a lot about cesareans and you need to get some books on medieval torture. Cause you're actually awake when this happens. Why is everybody okay with that? Like, oh, we're just gonna cut you open and you're awake. You know, I remember the nurse came in and she was like, I'm gonna give you your beautiful baby. It's gonna be 10 minutes, you're gonna see her. And I'm like, if I make it, if I make it, I'll see her. You know, small detail. And then they bring the baby out and you're like, she's beautiful. Is that my organ on the floor over there? I wanna hold her, but I can't cause my arms are strapped down. That's the sound of her cry. And that's the sound of Jesus singing, swing low, sweet chariot. I'm coming for to carry you home. We all know like Pinterest moms. These ladies spend like an hour the night before making an origami bird out of a napkin for their kid's lunch. Every day it's like a different country, like Russia, Turkey. You know, I have a moment where if I put a napkin in their lunch and I fold it in half, I'm like, I must really love her. You know? There's also the tight ass workout clothes moms. These guys have like a nine seater black SUV, newly leased, huge sunglasses, tight ass workout clothes, and they're just going. You know, they're just going. You don't know if they're coming from a workout. You know if they're going into one. You know, you don't know if you're in one with them right now. You don't know if you should just join in one. You get your watches out and you're just going. You're just going with them. You know, you don't know where you're going, but you're just gonna keep going. Uh, I kind of been considering myself kind of like God's needy ex-girlfriend. That's kind of where our relationship has been going. Because I'm like, hey, what's up? It's me. Um, oh, I just want to talk to you about what I talked to you about yesterday. And um, the day before and the day before that, just like same thing, you know. And he's like, Cammie, my timing is perfect. Does anybody here use God to lose weight? Even people here don't believe in God, you guys call on them, you're like, yeah, I need some help. But really, I mean, for me, losing weight's really a big battle between my flesh and my spirit, because my flesh is this real happy lady, and she likes to go to McDonald's and get shamrock shakes and double cheeseburgers, and every time I see golden arches, I gotta pull off and get in the drive through I gotta roll my window down and sit in the sun with no AC and no heater, because I like fresh air and just sit there and love myself, because it's girl time, I'll get large Diet Coke, and I listen to the radio, and I mush on my fries, and I sit there, and then I get off the highway, because I saw another goat in our cheese and it calls my name. I just want to love myself. And my spirit is like, shut up, you're fat. You're the fatty. Be a pro. Donate. I thought you were doing this with God. Come on, put the fork down. You know, Baba. Be filled with the spoon. Just be skinny and then I'm a jada. And then 
and God is like, Cammy, this is why we don't talk anymore. Thank you so very much. Come on, bang them sticks.